Hey guys, what's up? It's KB here. In this video, I'm gonna do a comparison in between the most popular Android emulator called BlueStacks and fairly new Android emulator called Mumu Player X, which I think is the best Android emulator out there, in my opinion. Let's see how it goes. Who's gonna win the title of best Android emulator? In my test, we're gonna do point system, so whichever emulator wins we're gonna give them one point just like that now let's have some fun let's start this with the boot time okay i'm gonna try to open both android emulators at the same time okay so let's see which one is going to boot first all right there are a few seconds okay uh blue stacks wins by around 10 to 15 seconds actually wow I, I don't even have to pull out the stopwatch for that so one more thing before we go into the next test i have done a similar performance settings for both android emulators for you know fair comparison so four core cpu eight gigabyte of ram same goes for the blue stacks four core cpu and eight gigabyte of ram and 60 fps locked okay the, the maximum fps that we can get so i have tried my best to make every single setting as similar as possible all right even the display setting is similar 16 by 9 same goes for the momo player x 16 by 9 now the next test is that which one is consuming more cpu and ram when we are doing nothing okay both of them are opened here we have the task manager here the mumu player is actually hiding something here it looks like that mumu player is using less ram than blue stacks but it's actually not true there is one hidden uh, process running in the mumu player which is like not bad uh, it used to be the same thing for BlueStacks, but now they fixed it and BlueStacks actually consumes less RAM, especially uh, starting from the BlueStacks 5. So in Momo Player X, there are a couple of processes running in the background, such as this one, MU vm6 headless front end and this interface one okay so mumu player is actually using more ram than blue stacks so again uh, blue stacks gets the another point all right now let's talk about the uh, interface actually they both have a similar interface nobody is going to get the points for this all right so let's start with the biggest thing which android version is both running okay momo player x is actually running a android 12 which is the most up-to-date or actually the latest android version and blue stacks is actually running a android 9 i can't check it because lots of settings are just gone from the blue stacks but it is android 9 so the point goes to Moomoo Player X because it is the latest Android version that is running. So let's see which one feels smoother by opening some applications and whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna go to the settings. Wow. Okay, gonna do the same thing. Settings. I think the animations are just better in Moomoo Player X. It just feels uh, much smoother obviously because of the new android version so uh, the feeling the smoothness we're gonna go with the momo player x because it really feels smooth even though it failed in boot time but it really feels smooth now let's run one game or application and let's see which one is consuming more ram and cpu all right so i'm gonna go with the pubg in blue stacks and i'm gonna go with the PUBG on Momo Player at the same time. Hopefully my PC will handle this, all right. Both of them are booting the PUBG mobile, all right. Okay, they are doing about the same, okay. They, they, they are booting the game. I don't know why, how, there is the blue stacks fully loaded, all right. And there is the Momo Player X fully loaded uh, with the PUBG mobile, okay. And it looks like actually blue stacks consumes more ram and cpu when we play any game or anything like that wow impressive hello when i start to do some activity all right then the momo player actually consumes cpu but not more than the blue stacks all right let's go into the match so we can actually see how much cpu and ram is being used 40 percent almost double triple amount of cpu is being used in blue stacks 
Just look at them. Both of them are running the PUBG game. Okay. Just look at them. The CPU and RAM usage. Actually, sometime, only sometime, BlueStacks use more uh, CPU and RAM. But overall, BlueStacks is using more CPU and RAM. Let's check the FPS actually. In BlueStacks, you can see we are getting the 30 FPS maximum. And uh, in Mumu Player X, you can see we have 40 somewhere 40 yeah constant 40 fps even after using more cpu and ram blue stacks isn't actually giving us more um, fps so momo player actually gives you more fps than the blue stacks blue stacks is stuck at like 30 28 29 but momo player is at the 40 almost all the time impressive so basically this time we did two tests one fps and one cpu and ram usage when we are playing the games so both of the categories actually goes to mumu player because it consumed less ram and cpu compared to bluestacks and it also gave us more fps compared to bluestacks don't worry we're gonna do a boss fight in both android emulators so someone actually told me that uh, the most resource hungry game is Genshin Impact for the Android. So we're gonna do the test on both Android emulators and I'm gonna play the game on both at the same time because why not and hope my PC handles it, all right? So you can see the game is booting up on both uh, Android emulators. It looks like BlueStacks is actually using more CPU and RAM all the time compared to Momo Player X. I'm actually using the same account on both uh, Android emulators, so I can't play them at the same time as far as I know. So let's start this, but if it doesn't work, then we're gonna do it one by one, all right? And uh, I'm just gonna run around. This is a blue stack, okay? I'm getting uh, 27, 25, 26, 21. Okay, let's use some abilities, 25 again. So it is giving, uh, dropping at least like 20 to 30 FPS, okay? That's minimum 20, maximum 30 FPS. The FPS is dropping a lot. Uh, just look at the FPS counter at the bottom of the blue stacks. The game data will be saved for me to use on another emulator in this same level okay i'm just gonna run here and you can see it's not constant 30 fps but i mean yeah you know it okay now let's see how it does in mumu player x okay uh in this emulator there is a fps counter at the top and same goes for this i haven't done any game settings or anything like that to improve or decrease the quality of the you know gameplay or anything like that i'm just playing on default settings I have not touched any settings okay okay if i tap to begin i should spawn to the same place as i spawned in blue stacks because as i said they are using the same account so the game data just gets synced uh, to the account so when you log in with the same account on new device or anywhere it will load where you left the game so hopefully yeah you can see all right so fps counter is at the top all right we're gonna do the same thing run around okay so you can see it's constantly giving us 30 fps actually sometime it goes 31 but 27 all right it's better than blue stacks okay just look at this i'm doing the same things as i did in the blue stacks it is rarely dropping the fps below 30 Okay, it's trying its best to keep the game in 30 FPS. All right, so I'm gonna use the abilities and whatnot, you can see. All right, 30 FPS, almost all the time, 30 FPS. Even if it drops, it's like 28, 27 minimum, okay. Maximum frame drop, as we saw in the blue stacks, it was 21 20 fps winner is uh, clear okay. we fought with the boss and the winner is mumu player x constant 30 fps yes it won in uh pubg mobile okay it gave us like 40 fps where the blue stacks was you know barely giving us the 30 fps so yeah
it just wins as you know latest android means it will support more games and apps so there is one example that i can give you guys there is this game called belly clash it's not the best game or app in the world but it works on Moomoo player x all right if i open it up here it just loads up and i can play the game but in bluestacks it does not work okay it just crashes so basically uh, this momo player x supports more games and applications compared to bluestacks because the bluestacks is running android 9 and momo player x is running on a android 12. clearly say that it supports more games and apps all right there is one more test left i'm not gonna bore you guys with all the test again okay? there is one thing that uh, momo player x doesn't have that is the multi instance manager you can create multiple instances of bluestacks and you can choose from different android versions actually right now i'm just using one instance which is uh, using a android 9 i can actually create new instances with android 7 android 5 so it's a pretty cool feature if you want to have a multiple instances but the momo player x doesn't have multi instance manager you cannot create multiple instances maybe the other versions of uh, momo player has the multi instance manager but this version specifically the momo player x doesn't have so for this momo player x takes the l and bluestacks gets the point time to wrap this up I think we don't have to do any further tests. We saw what happened. So basically, uh, the winner is Momo Player X. It actually performed really well compared to Bluestacks. Less CPU and RAM usage when you're playing the games. Bluestacks was only able to consume less RAM and CPU when we were doing no tasks. But when we started to play games, uh, it just started to use more ram and cpu that's it hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or any suggestions please do the comment and i'll be very happy to reply you and uh, yeah that's it i will see you in the next one take yourself and have fun bye bye